Hello, welcome back. And today, we're going to talk about the use of the periodic properties to find the exact values of the trigonometric functions. Right, so let's move over here to figure B. Look at figure B right here. Figure B shows that for an angle of pi over 3 radians, the corresponding P on the unit circles, 1 half, and square root of 3 over 2. Now, notice that for an angle of pi over 3 plus 2 pi, now 2 pi in degrees is 360 degrees. But here we got pi over 3 plus 2 pi radians is the corresponding point P on the unit circle, which is 1 half the square root of 3 over 2. Now, let's look at this right here. As a result of that, as a result of this figure B, then we have right here the sine of pi over 3 is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. And of course, when we actually add 2 pi there to pi over 3, then we get the same thing. It's the same exact value. Amazing, right? So, and then we have cosine pi over 3 is equal to 1 half. And the cosine of that, when you have pi over 3 and you add 2 pi to that, you still get the same thing. It's, it's 1 half. You have Cosine pi over 3, which is 1 half, and then when you add 2 pi to pi over 3, you still get what? 1 half. Now, for a given angle, we're measured in radius. Suppose we know corresponding point P, which is here. And that's on the unit circle, of course, obvious as you see this, right? So now, if we add 2 pi, so we have the angle. And we add 2 pi, we go a complete revolution, one revolution of 2 pi. And then we keep going on to the terminal side of the angle, right? Then what we have is an identical point P on the unit circle corresponding to this. So we have this angle here, but then if we go around one revolution and then some, we still land on that angle. You see them, right? This is amazing here, right? So if you look at figure BB, this is figure BB, the values of the trigonometric function of theta plus 2 pi are equal to the values of the corresponding trigonometric function of theta, what we're showing right here, as you see. Now, if we add or subtract the integer models of 2 pi to theta, the values of sine and cosine functions will remain unchanged. That is for all theta. Now here is some theorems here, basically. We got sine of theta plus two pi times k is equal to sine theta. And you got cosine theta plus two pi k is equal to cosine theta, where k is any integer, remember that? So the functions that exhibit this kind of behavior are called what? Periodic functions, you see that? So the definition. Function f is called periodic if there is a positive number p such that whenever theta is in the domain of f, so it so is theta plus p, and you have what? Uh, f of theta plus p is equal to f of theta. If there is a smallest such number p, the smallest value is called the fundamental period of f. Now. Follow me over here to the next board. I got something to show you. This is basically we have here. Sine and cosine functions are periodic. You have sine, cosine, cosecant. Secant, they have a period of 2 pi. A revolution, right? And then tangent and cotangent are periodic with a period of, of, of pi. Now, you got values. We go back up here. We look at sine, cosine, cosecant, secant with the period of 2 pi, you know you have the values in between 0, less than or equal to theta, less than 2 pi. And then for here, 
as we said, tangent and cotangent being periodic with period pi. We have zero less than or equal to theta less than pi. Now, let's look at these expressions right here. Sine theta plus 2 pi is equal to sine theta. Cosine theta plus 2 pi is equal to cosine theta. Tan theta plus pi, right, is equal to tan theta. And of course, cosecant theta plus 2 pi is equal to cosecant theta. And then you got secant theta plus 2 pi is equal to secant theta. And cotangent theta plus pi is equal to cotangent theta. Now, let's look at this proof real quick. We want to show that the period of f of theta is equal to cosine theta, which is equal to 2 pi. Now watch this. Suppose there's a number p and 0 less than p, less than 2 pi, for which cosine theta plus p is equal to cosine theta for all theta. Now, if theta is 0, the cosine of theta plus p is equal to cosine p is equal to what? Cosine 0, which equals to what? 1. But the interval from 0 to 2 pi, such that cosine p will never what? It will never equal to 1. So therefore, the smallest number p for which cosine theta plus p is equal to cosine theta for all theta is p is equal to what? 2 pi. And of course, we're going to talk about some extra things later on in more videos to come.